Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Hermitcraft number 15. I'm working on uh, this, this little room right here. I'm going to tell you about it in just a little bit, but uh, this is we're in the central kind of tower uh, area in the castle. And I worked on some things here. I've got, uh, you go up here, and this is just an area, like a bedroom for some people. Looks pretty sick. I like it. Bedroom there. Wait, hey, give me that stair back. Bedroom here, bedroom over there, and then you come across this walk away here, and we got a kitchen. Uh, that we'll, we'll take a little better look at it uh, later on. Uh, it's, it's coming along pretty nice, but... I'm working, oh, and, and up one more level. I should show you this, to Give you just a little peek -see. It's a little bit of a war room. This is more of like the military, and we're going to have some maps and stuff here. It's going to look really nice, but I'm working on something down below because I'm feeling guilty today. Today, I, I feel pretty, pretty bad. Um, most of you know, but for those of you that don't know, uh, we had... A meeting with a great friend and a great other hermit, uh, Cleo. And we were, Corrales and myself were kind of talked into doing something not so great. Okay, I've been pulling my weight around here. Yeah. Supplying you with totems and potions and whatnot. Yeah. And now I need the two of you to return the favor in the game of demise. If we're going to win this, uh -huh. we need to start demising some living souls, right? Yeah, you do. You've been you've been slacking. We? Sorry, I've been slacking. Yeah, as far as a dead yeah. person, you know. I mean, I've been seeing uh, you know, cubs killing a lot of people. But okay, huh? but not actually Who not me cub? though, huh? Who killed cub? <sighs> it was a skeleton, but also me. Yeah, well, yeah, kind of you too. Yeah, that's true. Okay, oh, so that's... you, yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Yeah, that's, that's one soul claimed. One soul claimed, I guess. One soul. Claimed. Half a soul. Yeah. Half a soul, yeah. Half a soul, sure. Okay, but it, let's, yeah. let's add one to that number, okay? Okay. I think that you should proposition someone on this server to come here for a tour, okay? They mm -hmm. might be a little suspicious because they know that, you know, I'm part of idea, but I won't even be here. You give them a nice little tour around the place, and then at the end, we get them with a trap. We trick somebody? Whom? Whom, 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 whom do we trick? I'd, I'd let that up to the two of you to decide. But if you follow me, I'll show you the trap first of all. We gonna kill? We 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 we're, we're, we're gonna we, kill we, the, the person? And then they exit through the gift shop, and they fall down there. Where there's oh, TNT and we're I don't I don't know about this. I I'm a, I'm uh -huh. an aliver. Can you I, just stand a little bit more in the middle, Vokia? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just care, Corrales. It could be you. Careful. Hey guys. Hi, Stop Cleo. Hi, Hi, Cleo, human. This is room one called Cozy Cabin. And <clears throat> you, it's got some nice warm tones to it. Um, you notice kind of the, the, the intricate bookshelf design and such. And and don't forget the signs up top, you know. And then we have a like, gift shop at the end over here. So, would, uh, oh, so to be fair, they don't really, they don't really have a gift shop. <gasps> what the? No! No! Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh! I trusted you. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Okay, you've been. Uh, what? This is. You are set free now from your human body, and you are. Bye. Oh no. Ooh. Oh no. So yeah, Corrales and I, we tricked another alive person. We tricked our ally, human. Cleo, or Zombie Cleo, as some of you might know her, into demising. And we did that because we were pressured. And, and, and I've been thinking about it nonstop since, and I'm sick about it. I'm absolutely sick, and I don't feel right. I don't feel good. I feel terrible, actually, because now she's on the demise team. And boy, was she not happy about it. She was not happy. I can't let somebody not like me. I can't. People have to love me. So I'm doing this for her. I've built this area. This is kind of the middle building here. This is kind of the military area. You know, we've got the beautiful knight statue out front. And then down here is going to be kind of an honorary statue area. And then we've got the areas I showed you up above where some of the, you know, main, some of the main knight guys will stay in this main entryway. And then up there is the planning room, right? So here... 
Oh, there she is. There she is. Here, uh, we've got armor stands, and Cleo is like the armor stand uh, shaping master. I don't know if you guys know this or not, but there's a book in the game that we use that can kind of like make the armor stands do some specific things uh, that look really, really cool. I'm not great at that. Cleo's amazing at it. And out of guilt, I'm going to hire her to do this. I'm, and I'm going to pay her a lot. I'm going to pay her a lot because I feel terrible. I want to kind of clear my conscience and make up for the terrible deed that we did. I feel like it's terrible. And I know you guys are like, oh, that's so stupid. You build this castle and then you invite the enemy in. Right in. Don't worry, guys. B-dubs is a charmer. I'm a charmer, and I'm not worried in the slightest. By the way, let me just tell you, before before I say anything, before business, mm -hmm. let me just tell you, I think you are the nicest person on the server. By a long, by a long shot. I mean, there's a lot of nice people <laughs> on this server, and I think you're the nicest, personally. That's just me. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. I really do. I've, I've, what do you want? <laughs> well, I, no, I'm not saying I don't want anything. I just, you know, I'm a words of affirmation guy. You know, I like to tell if I got something on my heart, I like to say it. And I just wanted to tell you that. And I think I that, appreciate that. I think you're wrong, but I appreciate Oh, no, no, I'm right. I think you're the nicest. You're the nicest. <laughs> I, I really do. I, 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 oh. I, I wanted to. I feel terrible. I feel terrible. And I, I know I'm that. Guessing. You, I really do. I do because I, you like, know, I, I was, I, I was strong armed into doing that killing, and, and I, I was strong, ar strong armed into murder. I'm not sure that holds up in a court of law. But I was they strong armed. Murder you. Oh, if I <laughs> say it loud enough, kill. they'll have to believe it. <laughs> so I mean, we do have video footage of the. Uh, what what do we call it now? Oh, the complete and utter devastating betrayal. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think that's what they're calling it. But this is my way. This is my way of saying I'm sorry and making up for it. I'm taking a big risk here. I built this whole castle, all these walls, and I'm inviting no, the enemy. the whole thing. Yeah, exactly. All of it. I'm inviting you in because I want to pay you back. I've got a job. I've got a job for you. Oh, I. <laughs> yeah, come on this way. In here. Look at this. This is, this is. This is a crypt. Uh, uh, you think so? You know, it's a little bit dark. I, I but... would think so because that's exactly what it looks like. But it's not you're, but, oh. you're taunting me now. No, this no, 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 no. This is just this is just my statue of honor room. This is where um, all the you know this is a castle, so you got to have an area to like honor fallen heroes and stuff, and that's what this room is. Fallen heroes, yeah. But I, I see where you're going with this. Okay, but not you, not you. You know, it's just imaginary. Oh, you're saying I'm not a hero? You're a I'm hero. Definitely fallen. You, okay, so yeah, so yeah, I guess you. <laughs> oh, dang it. Okay, I, I will take one of these as mine. Yeah. And I will write my own eulogy, which okay. you should probably read, to be fair, because it will mention you by name. Oh, good. Well, I like, I mean, that'll put me in, in the history books. I like that. Well, that's another I thing, though. Want, want to... <laughs> I... It's not going to It's not gonna go well for you. You just put it out there. Oh, uh, you know what? I actually, I wanted to tell you another thing. As far as there's, you know, people try to be really creative with their skins and stuff. And by a long shot, I feel like, like, there's creative people. And I tried to, you know, I don't know if you saw, but I tried to, like, put some shading on my skin and stuff and, like, make it look a little bit nicer I didn't make my skin before you go any further down this route you're really creative with the skins oh okay you didn't make them okay oh. I was gonna I think <laughs> oh this is this is this is going exactly how you imagined it isn't it <laughs> I like your beady your green beady eyes <laughs> I think Thank they're really you. nice. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me because people welcome. don't say nice things to me. Oh, good. So there you go. You're welcome. Good, good. Oh, so there but, we go. We got somewhere. Level yeah. ground. Yeah. Well, okay. So the, the business at hand. There's the a sta there's business. a statues here, you know, and and I know this is something that you're fantastic at and you're great at. On top of that, there's a little additional. I, I, I've got these lecterns here and I wanted to have like a little bit of story behind people. I don't know 
if you'd feel comfortable. I'm good, like, I'm good at that. I'm very, very good at stories. Really? There you go. Okay. I am. You don't have to do all of them, but maybe just, you know, one or, one or two. Just give me just a little bit of story to just, like, get, get something started because it'll get kind of get the creative juices going a little bit. Yeah, like um, I say, my eulogy. Yeah, well, your, your, your eulogy. If this is <laughs> if this is you, or if this is, I mean, you could be right in the center, you know, if you want. You want I, I'm not, my ego is not that big, but you know, okay. we'll see. Okay, they might all be me. They, <laughs> they might they, all be me. They yes. could. Okay, yeah. Well, I mean, even that that would be perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm happy with that, but for something like this, with the armor stands and the um, the lore, what sort of yes. price are we talking? Well, for normally, I'd probably do it for, there's not many here, there's probably eight. half a stack of diamonds, but for you, it's like a full stack. A full stack, okay. okay. Yeah, oh. because, you know... I'm not getting any diamonds because you know someone what? killed me. Well, that's funny. That's funny and great because I, I already thought in my head, whatever price you were going to tell me, I was going to say something. I was going to say double it. You, if oh, you, right. I was going to say double it because I feel bad and I want to I wanna compensate you very handily for this job. So so a stack of diamonds is fine. A stack of diamonds yeah, is perfectly diamonds fine. Is plenty. Yeah. Do you, do you want it before? And your soul. Um, sorry, what? No, no, stop it, stop <laughs> it. Listen. It's all right. I don't eat souls. You're putting you you're putting a lot of trust in me for this. You know that, don't you? I know, I know, because I you trusted me, and I betrayed that, and I want to regain it. I want to regain that well, trust. You might. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If, so if you if you're showing me this trust, we'll mm -hmm. we'll call it even. Yeah. I want to show you one more thing, too. Do you take payment okay. before or after, by the way? Um, usually after. Oh, thank God, because uh... I don't have a stack of diamonds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there goes the bed. Thanks. Good morning. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> one last thing. I've just been, you know, I've been working on some you things in my... You should put some lights in here, just saying. Oh, yeah. I mean, there's a couple here and there. This is actually, <laughs> this is a room I've been working on. Um, if, just down here, you can see it's, uh, it's, oh. my, it's my latest work, actually. Uh, so I, this is kind of for, you know, if anybody's rude to me or mean to me, um, I, uh, I bring them down here and I lay them on this bed and I flip this lever. Oops. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I should have tested that. That doesn't actually Possibly. work. Yeah. O also, this feels a bit like a threat. No, 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 no. You're a creative person. You know, I just wanted to bring you down here and show would you, you, you. Would you, would you like a torture room as well? No, no, I'm just showing you that I made this. That I did that I did a good job. You did do a good job. Yeah. I'm, I'm a little intimidated by how well the job you've done. Yeah, no, don't be intimidated. This isn't certainly not for you. This is just something I've been working on on the side, you know. Uh, you know, all I have to do is flip this trap oh, door and got boom. The anvil and yeah, the down it goes. Yep. <laughs> you just lay down there and whoop, down down it falls on your head. So That just mm, Yeah. Mm, Anybody mm. that 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 uh that, that you know Anybody that causes me any trouble, I guess I just bring them down here. But I, I, I'm not anticipating. I think everything's going to be. No, oh. no, 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 no. Not for you. Not for you. Not for you. <laughs> no, just bad people. Well, I'm looking forward to it. I've got, let's see how many I have. I have 46 diamonds. Um, so okay. I'm going to give you an upfront payment. We'll just start out like okay. that. We'll start out like that's that. That's because that's, I yeah, um, that's 20. That's 20 diamonds. So, so 20 you can. 20 diamonds. Have, Excellent. I owe you 46. I owe you 46, and that'll be coming after the job is complete. 44. 44. Because maths. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Dang it. Ow. Stupid. <laughs> and that, ladies and gentlemen, is a lesson in schmoozing. Schmoozing is basically when you pay the ultimate compliment. You compliment people like crazy, and they can't help but love you. <laughs> and they will, they will not harm you. Uh, not only did I schmooze, you, you have to balance your schmooze with threats. And we showed her the torture chamber as well. Don't double cross old B dubs. I'll go crazy on man. And and, and Cleo, too. A zombie. I'll go crazy on a zombie. Anybody. It doesn't matter. I think we're in good shape, boys. And we're going to get a nice thing out of it. She's really good at those statues. So um, I want to kill some time here because it's going to take her a little bit of time to get that stuff done. But I wanted to show you. I give you a brief look at the kitchen. But look at this. This is get some ideas, guys. Some grain, right? Some eggs and cookie. This is like baking area. You got a cake out by the window, kind of cooling off. 
A little bit of smoke coming out of that bad boy. And there's some other stuff in here. You got some other, you know, ingredients. This is, I know, I know, similar to my toilet, but it's not. It's different. Uh, some meat. We're going to do something right here. I'll show you in just a bit. This is like a main prep area. And then out here, there's wine barrels and stuff to drink. And then other, um, you know, herbs and stuff. But something in here. I've been preparing some things because I want to try something out that I think is going to be super cool. I saw this on the Minecraft Reddit. Um, and I want to try it here and see if it'll work. I've also, speaking of Reddit, I've seen... Uh, some of the beat ups inspired builds on the Hermitcraft Reddit. Guys, you're doing a fantastic job. I love it. It looks beautiful. Uh, but here we go. Check this specialty move out. This is pretty cool, and we're going to have to be fast. Are you guys ready to be fast? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Here we go. And splash potion fast. Yes. Good. And good. And did we get him? Yes. Check that out. Okay, okay. Fantastic. Oh, this is sweet. All right. And I could do the top, but you don't really see up there. And it is kind of expensive to be doing this. Um, but this is a way to make like some food racks to put some stuff out. You could have the cooked food on there, but it actually pops off. So you can't. This is perfect. I love this. I mean, you could use debug stick to mess around, I think, and get in, do this a little easier. And, uh, creative. But I think this is awesome. I really love that. So I've got some other stuff. I've got like some fish and more fish. More fish? Yes, not ideal. Well, let's just do these real quick. Let's just put some fish on. Oh, wait, we got, we got to light it. Relight it, beat ups. Get the floating steel out. There we go. And get another. I, here, here's another trick. If you're trying to do this, if you hit this below, you get all three of these. So watch. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And kablammo. It's a fish. It's a fishmonger. We did it, guys. <laughs> okay, and then we'll put something down there. You can cook potatoes or something or whatever you'd want to have up on a shelf. But I think that helps this area look actually really cool. It adds some really nice color. Decoration so hard in Minecraft. It's not made for decoration at all. But yeah, so we've got this kitchen here. It's going to be uh, perfect. We're going to have great access to, you know, the, the, kitch the kitchen people will come up right here and feed everybody in the feast hall. I love it. It's so great. Oh, also, oh my goodness. Did I not show you this? I made this guest room. This is right above my rooms right below. But yeah, this is pretty cool. I love this. I used acacia wood up here and it's actually kind of nice and pretty. This is cool. I don't know if I showed you guys this area up here, but I think it's looking pretty nice. I'm pretty happy with it. You know, a little dead bush there, not getting enough light. Uh, but yeah, acacia wood, guys. It works in some... I hate it. It's stupid. Grimy, you taking good care of Smiler? It sounds... I mean, he's got a big happy smile on his face. Look at him. He wants some more of those vines. The wonderful job. Oh, this is the fastest horse, though. Guys, this horse is so fast. Oh, I love it so much. Cleo is done. Look at how fast this horse is. I can ride it around. My whole place. Ah, whoops. Little hit to the head. Okay. It's not that fast, actually, but it's much faster than Smiler. Sure, certainly. Oh, okay. Cleo is done. And guys, I mean, I've been working around here. Everything seems good. I'm pretty happy. I, I think there's definitely not. That's why I kind of hung around the castle a little bit to make sure. I even worked on this area here. And this is just like a little blacksmith area. I think it looks cool. Some ideas for you. I need to get a, actually a lantern hanging in here somewhere, but... I think it's looking pretty nice. Let's go to sleep real quick. Um, oh, the most egregious thing she did. She trapped my llama. My llama is trapped in the dog pen. Uh, but we can get him out. We'll get him out in time. Um, before we go in there, just in case. Just in case she's got a, you know, the, a rigged, rigged trap somewhere. I'm going to put some stuff away. Just, you know, you never know. You never know. Where Do I have any space anywhere? Hello? Here we go. We'll just put these tools in here. That's fine, okay? I think we're going to be okay. I really do have faith that we're going to be perfectly fine, but just in case. Okay. That's Cleo right there. Wait a second. That's She changed the painting. Okay, a little creative freedom. I should have been more careful opening that door. Holy cow. A little creative freedom. I had two paintings there. She put one. So that's matching this now. I mean, whatever. 
and this is wrong, Cleo. This is supposed to be oh, okay. She's changed. This has changed my whole place, and this is wrong. What in the world? I gotta fix this. Wait a second. Maybe it's a maybe, maybe, maybe I just leave it for the moment. This is great though. Oh, there's beef. Oh, that's amazing. She's got beef in there. There's mumbo with a redstone cub with a, a redstone block. Corrales with an axe and Cleo with a sword. This is, I love this. This is super cool. This is great. Is that TFC there? I think so. I love it. An impulse as well. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay. Nothing. Hello? I paid for lore. No lore. Aha! Okay, here we go. This is okay. This is part of what I paid for. The Ballad of Corrales, long, long ago, maybe a whole few weeks even, there lived a poor stable boy named Corrales. Try as he might, he could just not find a friend. So one night, I'm his friend, so one night, he wished upon a star. And he, the next morning, he, okay, hello, he twice, okay, Cleo, he found a giant iron golem. The golem wanted nothing more to be a peace uh, to be at peace and the two lived happily until beat ups arrived uh oh <laughs> that night Corrales was awoken to a large groaning scream and he came out to find his friend slain by the beat ups oh that's amazing I love it the two became buddies and Corrales forgot all about the iron golem who rots away in this very city the moral of this story is Something, something, betrayal and such. I love that. That's really good. Oh, man. What is this one? Cleo's eulogy. Cleo, your eulogy. Oh, that's sad. We are gathered here today to mourn the passing and reviving. And then once more, the passing of zombie Cleo. She was taken from this world by treachery and avarice. That's, a, that's the $10 word of the day. A pure soul who trusted those she deemed worthy with her life eee, that's me but we make up we made up for it corrales and the beaten no 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 uh oh water me poppy oh oh thank god holy cow that was free wait a second whoa no 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 water me poppy oh no no uh oh no, 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 no. Oh, I was trying to get the apple. Shoot. So I trusted Cleo. I tried this. Here's your lesson for the day. Be nice. Don't be nice. If you be nice, then you get your back stabbed. I'm such an idiot. I probably looked right at that lava coming on my head. Oh, no. Oh, no. I shouldn't have trusted her. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried to make... I tried. I had a Dragon Bro meeting today that I was supposed to go to. Oh, man. Oh, I'm not going to be going to that, looks like. I wanted to teach a lesson. I felt bad. And that's, that's what... Oh, yeah. Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Well, at least you didn't blow up my castle. I should have never let the enemy in. Tripwire hooks. Oh, Cleo. I wanted, guys, I wanted. I felt bad. I thought, I taught a lesson last time. When I when I met with Cleo and tricked her into death, I thought, there's a lesson in, uh, you know, I, I thought it was bad. I don't want to be a bad guy. And I tried to make up for it. And this is what I get. Oh, thank God I put the tools away. I was actually so confident. Oh, my goodness. I was so confident that that was necessary, but I was being extra precautious. Stupid beat ups. The bow's gone. Oh, man. Ladies and gentlemen, so many of you were rooting for me, and I know it, and I felt it in my heart. I felt you every day. As soon as I logged onto the server, I felt it, and I appreciated it. 
but now here I am, a shadow of what I once was. My greatest strength became my greatest weakness, my sweet and kind heart. And Zombie Cleo knew that. We are out, but there are still two Dragon Bros remaining. Give them your love, give them your power, send them everything you've got. The Dragon Bros still got a chance. <laughs>